Hey guys, welcome to Team D TV. Hi. Hi! It's summer, it's camping season, the Holy Week is almost over, but we still have a long way to go until summer ends. So we still have a lot of opportunities for camping. And today we have we are going to review a quite popular type of camping mattress. Guys, a self-inflating camping mattress. So obviously, nabudol na naman tayo ni Shopee, you know? um, This mattress kasi is 10 centimeters uh, thick. So it's supposed to be comfortable. Tapos, they're saying it's self-inflating. Uy, parang ano yun, may rocket science ba dun? So it's supposed to be um, easy to set up, right? Um, right now kasi, um, our, our setup, we have four individual air beds. Every time we go camping, um, Siyempre, i-inflate ini -inflate ko yun. And honestly, napapagod ako. Um, we have an electric pump. Of, um, siyempre, di ba? But even if you're using the electric pump, four times you have to do it every time you go camping. Nakapagod. Um, well, we are not using the double size or queen size kasi mahirap, mag, mahirap kapag may cashier ka sa airbed. For obvious reason. Pag malikot yung katabi mo matulog, ikaw din naalog-alog ka. So, mawawala yung point ng camping mo that you want to go relaxation tapos hindi ka nakatulog ng maayos, di ba? So this one, self-inflating mattress, this really caught my attention. Pinag-uusapan to sa car camping Philippines. So, napansin ko and uh, tinignan ko, I searched for it. There are, there are a number of brands um, that are offering this type of uh, bed and uh, Although, yung iba, mga 3cm lang, 2cm lang, manipis. This one is the thickest so far that I, I've seen. So, this is the 10cm. Now, let's review um, if, number one, is it really um, comfortable? Number two, is it really easy to set up? For us kasi, we have a third reason for buying this. We want to get rid of the pump. We want to get rid of those um, air beds kasi... Pag na-deflate mo yung airbed, yeah, they may look thin, pero four of them, you compile them, they are heavy. Mabigat sila. So, we are trying to um, minimize. We want to be um, more light and compact with our um, camping gears. So, that is our third important reason for buying this. And, yeah, let's review and we'll see. So, pag deliver ng mattress, um, it comes in this box. Yeah. Medyo malaki. This is only about 13 pounds. Okay? So, again, um, size, ano to? 120. Double. Double ba or queen? I'm not sure. Basta the width is 120. Okay? Um, not so heavy. It's okay. And when you take it out of the box, ito na siya. So, meron siyang bag, yung material, parang material ng tent. So, it's waterproof. Okay? So, let's take it out. Obviously, um, we have two. So, the, the, this first one, we already opened it. Kailangan mo na namin mag-practice before we do this vlog for you guys. So, to make sure that we know what we're doing. So, we are, it's still in the bag. And now, let's take it out. Okay, so this is the bag. Okay, so ito na yung pinakang mattress and then ito siyang strap. So let's remove the strap. And there you go. Open, open, open. Yan. And, naka-fold pa to. Yan. Okay? So, hindi pa siya nag inflate because obviously, the valves are still closed. Um, let me show you the valve. Okay. So, here at the end, meron kang dalawang valves. There's, this is the gray valve. This is for um, air intake. So, when you open this, um, this, the foam is going to start to inflate. 
self-inflate. Um, ito namang dalawa dito. You'll see here. There are three black valves. This is for um, air exit. So when it's time to pack up, you need to open this para yung um, air from inside can go out. And these valves are smart, kind of smart valves kasi meron siyang parang gate, parang siyang gate valve that lets the air pass through one way only, which is exit. Hindi siya nakakapasok. Right? Kasi, obviously, pagka kinompress mo na siya to pack it up, you don't want air to be coming back, right? Coming back in. So, kaya may ganun siyang valve. Which is kind of cool. Okay, before we start um, inflating, let me just show you how thin it is. Ayan. Let's remove or let's open this air inlet valve. Ayan. Ayan niya mag-inflate kasi naharangan dito. So let me just remove. There. Hear that? Ayan. Nakaharang kasi kanina yung uh, cloth dito sa likod niya. So let me just I open that up. Ayan. Now it's breathing. Now, let me just say something. There is no rocket science here, okay? Hindi naman siya, parang yung marketing line lang kasi self-inflating. Basically, it's uh, it's a foam, it's a sponge na kinompress mo and then airtight, locked in a, in a container like this, depriving it from air, kaya uh, compress siya. And then once you release and you let it breathe, so it's just natural physics na mag you know it will suck air so kaya tinawag na self inflating okay unlike other mattresses na merong built in motor dito air pump yun parang self yun ang i think more more of a self inflating na may built in pump okay so ayan so, um, I forgot to time, pero it's been almost 30, 30, 35 seconds magmula nung in-open natin. So, as this is being advertised, ang suggestion nila is when you start setting up your tent, um, unahin mo daw to. You put, it, you put this inside your tent, open your, the valve, and then just leave it there. So, you can do and proceed with, the, with your other um, camping setup, right? Kasi this takes time. Sabi nila about a minute to two. But, mm, I don't mind kahit pabutin ito ng five minutes as long as hindi na ako magpapump, di ba? So, ayan. It's slowly um, breathing. Okay. It's still breathing. Can you hear it? Ayan. So, let me pause muna the camera and balikan natin kapag ka fully inflated na siya. Okay, it's um, <laughs> almost two minutes now and it's still breathing uh, very slowly. So, Jessica is suggesting that we open this two other, these, these two other bulbs. Kasi, you can actually open this completely. Two layer, two layers siya eh. So, ayan, there's the first layer that has the uh, the gate, the gate valve. If we open that, ayan. Ooh, ooh. Ayan, mabilis. And then, let's open the third one. Yun. Bumilis ng konti. Ayan. So, medyo nabuwasan yung mga mga curves, yung mga lines niya kanina. Medyo nag-straighten up na. Okay? 
Now, if you are already really tired from the trip, pagdating na pagdating sa camp at gusto mo na siyang um, boom, you know, gusto mo humiga, gusto mo mapabilis yung pag-inflate, the bag, this was the bag we showed you kanina, okay, actually comes with a pump. Well, it is actually a pump. So, sa, du sa dulo dito, meron siyang connector. Ayan. Ayan. So, ito, you just need to connect this here. Okay. And then, Papasokin mo lang yung hangin and then you curve this up. Okay. But of course, before you before you do that, you have to close itong dalawa. Kasi pag pump mo niyan, pag pump mo niyan, lalabas lang yung hangin. So you have to close this. Kahit yung first layer lang. Kasi again, ay hindi, hindi pala. To close it completely. Okay, and then, ayan, pump. There, pakita mo dun. Ayan, I think enough na yan. Pangit naman pag sobrang inflated kasi matigas. More? Okay, so the first pump that I did, mukhang hindi enough. So we need more. Pero I'll, I'll let Chaska do it. May technique siya. Wow! Hard condition! Yeah. Wow! Very good ah! <laughs> Yan ang technique natin. Technique niya. Okay, and then we connect it here. Again, that is if you are in a hurry, okay? Because otherwise, you can just wait for it to self-inflate, okay? expand yung mismong foam there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Parang you're feeding it with too much air. <laughs> More than what it can chew. Something like that. Okay, let's open it up. Open it up again. This is already the third pump. Well, yung kanina, the very first one that I did, medyo half or one fourth lang yun. So this is the second full. Look at this, the wrinkles. Okay guys, so here's what we noticed. So dito, pansin nyo, the, the foam is up to here. Pero blo bloated na siya dito. Because we pumped, we pumped air, right? Um, dito, the, um, as far as the foam is concerned, uh, mukhang busog na siya sa hangin. Uh, it feels good already. Pero back here, parang hindi pa. Okay? So I guess hindi advisable na ipump po siya too early. Kasi parang... Hindi, hindi pa siya ready huminga lahat eh. So, it's still breathing slowly. Alright? Pero, ngayon pa lang, I can tell you, very comfortable. Ayan o. So, yeah. Um, anong mali sa in-advertise? Sabi nila, 1 to 2 minutes. I, I think 2 minutes is not enough. I think this will take 5, 10 minutes or even probably 15 minutes. But, still not bad. Still good. Kasi, Marami ka pa namang gagawin eh. So, as long as you set up your tent uh, at may lagay mo na to doon, this is the first thing you you do. So, habang habang iniwan mo siya sa tent, breathing, um, marami ka pa namang gagawin. May set up ka pa ng table mo, yung cutting chair mo, yung kitchen area mo, and all that. By the time you're done, 
um, I think this is already completely inflated okay okay so in terms of size ayan kasyang kasya yung dalawang chikiting well they're no longer chikiting <laughs> so maliwag naman uh, the width is 120 centimeters so I think um, valid naman yung measurement na I think um, two people can can sleep here comfortably I'm going to show you something, alright? So, sige, Madam Pea, umupo ka. Medyo ibagsak mo ng konti yung pot mo. Ayun. Okay! <laughs> so, um, meron ding disadvantage kapag ka medyo, um, di ba kanina, naka, naka, how many pumps did we do kanina? Three or nine. About three, right? Three and So, I think medyo, hindi maganda kapag ka medyo overinflated kasi mafeel mo na yung parang airbed. So, kailangan sakto lang. So, I think yung three pumps namin kanina is a little too much. Kaya yun, pagka, pag may umupo, pag may gumalaw sa katabi mo, affected ka. So, bawasan natin yung, bawasan natin yung air. So, we deflated it. Binawasan namin ng hangin. Try mo nga ulit, Madam Pea. Oh, hindi na. Hindi na masyado. Okay? So, I guess trial and error lang yung, yung, um, amount of air. Pero I think, again, wag, wag ka lang siguro magmamadali. Just wait for it to to do its own trick of self-inflating. Antayin mo lang. But again, hindi siya, hindi siya matatapos in 2 minutes. I, I guess mga 15 to 20. And you you wouldn't need to pump it. Okay, Sophia, so what do you think of the comfort? I think it still has that like air bed kind of feel. I mean, it's not like a bed mattress. I mean, you probably shouldn't expect it to be, but it still has like the air bed kind of. Ah, uh, you still have that air yeah. bed feeling. Yeah. yeah. Even if, if, even after we deflated it. Yeah. I mean, no, it's not a matter of like when you put weight on it, you're going to get affected. It's kind of like the actual feel, it, like the fabric and stuff. Yeah, but but I think but it's close. Actual mm -hmm. mattress. It's yeah, it, there is actual mattress. There is actual foam inside, and like no, like it feels like eighty percent mattress for you. Yeah. Okay. Not so so bed. for you, it's eighty percent mattress. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what uh, Sophia is saying that the remaining twenty, <laughs> the remaining twenty percent for her is what makes it feel like an air bed. Agree. Mm -hmm. But um, try to recall how it felt back then during our last camping using the airbed. Oh, I think this is what? better. A lot better? Twice better? Ten oh, times yeah. better? Yeah. Yeah. Better. better. Is it worth the money that we invested on it? Yeah. Really? Because yeah. the airbed is only like a thousand and two hundred pesos. This one is almost five times. It depends on how much you use it and how strong it is. Because if this breaks in like two, three years, I don't think it's worth it. Okay. No. How about you, Chaska? Oh, she's doing an experiment. Pag airbed yan, tatapos yan. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Okay, so we'll see. We'll probably have a follow-up review once we actually use this when we go camping, which is soon, and I'm very excited. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Let's show them um, how to pack it up. And this is the fun part. Okay, so the girl suggested before we roll it up, let's do a waterproof testing. Okay, we're gonna pour some water and let's see how it reacts. Wow. Ooh. No. Look. Looks like it went inside. I mean, it's not stain proof, but I mean. It's not inside. It's not inside, right? Mm -hmm. Who told you it was waterproof? <laughs> it's bad. It's so shoppy. Bag? It's supposed to be waterproof. Mm -hmm. What about the bag? What's that? So it's not waterproof. See? Yeah, it's wet. 
that is wet. Like a mattress. It is wet. I mean, of course the outside is wet. Can you confirm that the, I think it's the foam the foam inside is also wet? It feels like a sponge. If you compare it here. Okay. It's absorbable. Yeah. Uh, not um okay. It's water repellent, I would say, yung material, but it's not completely waterproof. Na repel niya, I would say 70% of the water, right? Yeah. And about 30% went through. It slipped away really easily. Yeah. yeah. So, disadvantage pa rin to, for example, um it's rainy season and you went camping tapos may pumasok na water inside your tent and you got flooded and pumunta dito yung water and it gets soaked if water if gets if, if this gets soaked into some level of water siguro half inch or, or what pag nasok siya ng matagal-tagal I think it will absorb more water but I mean based on that drop it was pretty easy to clean up yeah cleaning up is one thing but Getting it dry is another thing, right? Yeah. Um, that's the dis yun yung disadvantage niya compared to the airbed. The airbed is completely um, waterproof. It floats in the water, right? Mm -hmm. So, ayan lang. Okay. okay, so it's not waterproof. Okay, let's start um, rolling this up. Palabasin na natin yung hangin and then pack it up. So, first thing to do is to open the air outlet here. Yeah. Okay. And then they said fold it into two. <laughs> fold it into two. Yours. Can you get it? Yeah. Can you get the air coming out? One half, one fourth naman this time. One fourth sheet of paper, classmates. Two things. Hang it. You're so heavy. Woo! This is very heavy. Can I try? Can I try? Can I try? Go, go, go! There's a, there's very, there's a 
very small amount of air coming out. Oh my God, and it's so slow. So you, you can take a nap. You, it, it doesn't matter during the setup, it doesn't matter kung slow siya mag breathe in, right? That's okay, because you're excited, you're still doing something else. But when you are packing up, you don't want that. You want to be able to pack up as fast as possible. See, I'm exerting a lot of effort. So I need help. Okay, Chaska, let's go. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Wow! That's there you go. <laughs> Let them hear the the, uh, the air. Now uh, that's that's some serious air coming out. But then, ayan, wala na. And there's still a lot of air. You can feel it. Ang salty naman. Okay. Let's pause right here. Okay. So, um, if you're the camper that has a lot, of, a lot of space, you have a big car, and the, a, a comfortable mattress is your priority, and this space is not an issue for you, then so be it. Okay, you don't really need to fold this and and it. and uh, try to make it go back to its original form, like when it was sent in the box. Because number one, number one, by the way, um, the one, if you remember the box, I mean, let, let's show them the box again. So this is this is the second item that we have, right? We haven't opened this. This is obviously machine pressed. So kaya sobrang compact niyan, it's so tight. You can never expect that you can put this one. You can never expect that you can put this one back to its original form when it was delivered to you. Never. You cannot do that unless you are 500 pounds and you have that super wide body na kaya mo compress. Okay? So let's just stop here, right here. If you're camping, marami kayo, big, uh, you have big space, maybe camping in a van, then I guess okay ka na dito. Just get a, a tali. Tali mo na lang to with, with some, no, iba naman ang sukat niyan eh. Okay? And you don't need to um, fit it back in here. So okay ka na dito. But not for us. Not for us. Because we have a small SUV. Hindi to po pwede. This, this is not going to fit in our car. Okay, so, hindi to po pwede sa amin, and we really need to exert more effort to bring this back to the smallest form as possible. Okay, so kanina, we were already pressing it, me and Cheska. Hindi kaya. Let's fold it again one more time. This is already the one eight, one eight sheet of paper, classmates. I need help. Okay. Go. What am I here? Jessica. Yo, yo. I cannot. Oh, Madam Pena, tulong ka dito. Oh my god, <laughs> So guys, take note. There's already three of us. Tatlo na kami. Okay, you're sleeping okay. on my head. Move. You can roll it now. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So, sabi ng sabi ng ano ng sa instructions nila. So after you do this, unfold it again. Okay, no. Unfold it. Um, then no, 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 tama tama tama. After you unfold it back to half and then roll it. Roll mo na daw to. You roll it. With your knees as small as possible. Yeah.
This was the size when we were rolling it kanina. Tingnan natin kung kasya na. Too big. See? Wow! Kasya na? Hindi kasya. Ayan o. <laughs> so, with all our body weights, hindi pa rin siya na-compress enough para maligpit mo. Okay? So, lalaban ka naman ngayon dito. We're gonna use the strap. Paano tayong lumalaban sa ano dito ah? Rodeo ah. Yun. Pagod na ako. Honestly, ang tired. Okay, finally, ay pasok na namin. Um, so ang ginawa namin, hindi namin pinakita sa inyo. Inanroll namin ulit, tapos ni-roll namin ulit siya slowly. As in every roll pinakompress namin. Kaming dalawa ni Madam Pea para um, talagang super tight na uh, roll. Yeah, ito ngayon, medyo kasya, kasya na siya. So, it's still really not easy. Okay. Hininga na ba ako? <laughs> Nakakapagod. Okay, final judgment. In terms of comfort, yes, definitely very comfortable. Agree? Mm -hmm. Agree, agree. In terms of setting up, madali lang. Agree, agree, agree. In terms of packing up. Medyo challenging. Anong medyo challenging? Very challenging. <laughs> This is not medyo challenging. Super challenging. Pero pabisan ako, oh. All our weight. Hindi, hindi ganun kadali. Lahat ng body weight namin nandun na. You, you guys have seen it. So, nagawa lang namin ito. Naipasok namin ulit ni Madam Pea. Because we had to unroll it again, tapos slowly every roll kino compress. And I think it's also, I think because this is 10 cm, makapal. Yung nakita ko sa Decathlon and sa ako ba yon? Decathlon palang yung nakita natin physically, right? Manipis lang yon. I think it's very easy to to roll. So ano ano recommendation namin? So if if you are after comfort, definitely this is yours. This is the bed that you want. Pero, you have to make sure na sa car mo, you have enough space. Okay? Um, second, nga pala, aside from this is 10cm, this is double. So, kung mag-isa ka lang, kunin mo lang yung single, it should be easier. Okay? Kasi ito double and there's two of them here. Apat kasi kami when you go camping. So, I think, oh, kayang-kaya yun. So, if you are camping alone, solo, or dalawa kayo, tig-isa kayong single, I think okay lang. You have a Fortuner, a Montero, or an Everest, or Terra, this will occupy a lot of space sa third row seat nyo, for sure. Ang laki nito. To give you an idea, this is how it looks inside a Ford Everest. Okay, it's 
not so heavy, pero malaki. It's bulky. Kung meron kang roof rack, then I think it's okay. You can put other other items dun sa roof rack, tapos ito ang ilagay mo sa loob. Definitely, you cannot put this inside unless you wrap this with something waterproof. You've seen our test, hindi siya waterproof. And siguro kung meron kang um, tow hitch, meron kang basket, then you can put your other camping gears there to make way, to make space for this one. Okay? So, ang challenge mo lang talaga dito, space, and then ang pagpaka. Mahirap. Okay? So, guys, thank you for watching. I hope naging informative to sa inyo bago kayo um, lumagpas na ako sa screen. <laughs> so, I hope you, you like this video and I hope you find this very informative and useful bago kayo mabudol din, katulad namin. At least, na-set yung expectation ninyo kasi ako, honestly, I'm quite disappointed kasi my objective really is I, we, we are using a Ford Everest for our camping and yung likod pa lang with our current setup, masikip. So, I've been trying to change our camping gears to make it more light and compact. And for this one, for with that objective, nag-fail ako doon. And medyo Hey guys, so, sorry, na nalubat yung camera namin. So, I'm back to using my, my cell phone here. So, ayun. Um, we hope that you find our video very informative and useful before kayo mabudol <laughs> ng ganitong um, camping bed katulad namin. So, medyo disappointed lang ako kasi iba yung, iba yung expectation ko. Aside from, yun nga, uh, aside from the comfort, I was expecting na magiging compact yung yung camping gears namin and this one um, just went the opposite. Naging bulky tuloy. Sobrang bulky. I don't know, medyo nadala siguro ako reading the specs. Nadala siguro ako ng self-inflating na marketing line. But anyway, andito na to. Um, tingnan na lang natin. We'll deal with it. Alright? So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you. Bye! Thank you. Bye. I'm gonna go to the next one.